here at uh, 23andMe, which is a, a, a company, a genetics, social, networking, well, we'll see what it is, but uh, they just got a new uh, office and we're here to visit. Let us say hi Hello. to the people. Introduce yourself. I'm Linda A.B. And what Welcome do you do? 23andMe. Yes. I am the co-founder. You are, indeed, and you yes. have your little little sign here. We have our chromosomes. Chromosomes. Our DNA. Your DNA, of course. And we have our Dino. Dino, what's Dino having to do with DNA? I don't know. It's a good know. question. But it's lovely. Yes. Look at the DNA. I know nothing of this. <laughs> Here's our so. little DNA extractor. Oh. That you can buy at a toy store. We got uh -huh. it at the Discovery Store. Wow. It comes with vegetable oil and with where are DNA the peas? stain. Where are the peas? Are you, is this your is this your scientific peas? methodology yeah. of your company? Yes, this is the lab. I have right great here. confidence in you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. No, this is not quite the lab. All right, well, let's see it. Oh, yeah. So, Linda, keep going. So, we how many have, people do you have now? We are up to almost 32 people. Wow, wow. And most people are doing what? And what this is? person is the person responsible for Hi. hiring. Hi, hiring person. Recruiter. So, what are you mostly <laughs> What are you mostly doing? What are the people doing, your They're people? Mostly, it's a mix between engineers, software engineers, and scientists. So uh-huh. Um, Darren just joined okay. us from uh, the Joint Genome Institute. Wow. He's a PhD scientist who's been doing a lot of genome uh -huh. sequencing. Right. Um, Genome sequencing, yes, right? Yes, full genomes. Yeah, wow. he was, and that was funded by the government. So wow, this is important scientific words. Yes. <laughs> These are all genetic associations that we've identified. Wow. That have you know, genes that are associated with all these different conditions. So migraine, is that right? Mm -hmm. Osteoporosis, rheumatoid arthritis, sickle cell, and oh my God, I'm going to lie down and die right now. Coronary <laughs> no, artery yeah. disease. Luckily, you don't probably Systematic have Systematic lupus. These. Oh my God, Graves' disease. So this, yes. you can tell what people, you, you, these are things you're tracking, possibly Well, these track. are just publications that came out. That right. there is some sort of a genetic association that's been published. Right. And then we Narcolepsy, that's nice. Yes. So we go through okay. and we look Pressure. at the science and right. see if we think, if we agree that we think it's a, a solid genetic association that we can report right. in some way or just right. make, you know, make that information available to people. And cool. a lot of them we've got on hold just because right. we feel like right. there's not enough data there yet. Right, I see. Interesting. So these are the kits you send out. This They're very the pretty kits. green. It looks like yeah. you're getting like cosmetics. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And when you open it, yeah. this, is the, this is the tube that you spit into. Right, okay. And then you take the funnel off. <laughs> And okay. then you put this lid on, this lid on this, and send it back in, and there's send an envelope in. in the top. All right, so this says... Is this your new video camera? Thing? Yes, it is. Stop okay. talking, Anne. Okay, so, um, so we'll get to you in a minute, Anne. So Jackie. then in here is where the envelope is that you right. return the, the Wow, that's back. really well done. Okay, yeah, so nice, how much does this cost, it? say, if you're going to do this? What is it's around $1,000. $1,000? $1,000. Yeah. Okay, great. And then they, then they'll get their information. How many spitting spitting does it take to get? How much it's spitting? It's about two and a half mils. What's that? How many spits? It's, it's uh, well, it's it's several teaspoons. Several teaspoons of spit. Yeah. So you just sit there and go. You sit there and spit. Right. The good thing is, is nobody could take that sample from you without you knowing it. I see. Well, of course so not. They yeah. They couldn't swab the inside of your mouth. Right. But that's not enough. It's not enough. To, uh, you, swabbing is not enough to get the exactly. Genetic. Right. So you need we, all the spit. Because we do a, such a comprehensive scan of your genome, right. we need a fair amount. Okay. But cool. we think that's a good. Right way to prevent people from getting your genetic information without I you see. knowing it. Like you well, could be asleep with your mouth open and somebody could swab you when you, right, right. When you least expect Excellent. it. Excellent. I do that all the time. I yes. go around and swab people <laughs> <Yes>. constantly. <laughs> And and introduce yeah. yourself to the people at home. I'm Ann Wojcicki. And what do you do? You're the. I am a co-founder with Linda Avey. Right, exactly. You two have founded this company. Yes. Okay. So together. really briefly explain to me what what your what your aims are. Let's get you both together. And, uh, <laughs> and what are your aims? What are your big aims? To um, empower people to get their own genetic information and to be able to use it mm -hmm. um, for their own learning as right. well as to form communities. Right. So it's sort of, it's a social network for genetics. It's social network for genetics. Right. And then what do you what people just discuss their migraines or discuss their they various can discuss anything they want. Whatever they're interested in. Right. It could be it could be, you know, total abhorrence of cucumbers to right. migraines to multiple sclerosis. Yeah, I have a group that discusses abhorrence to cucumbers. <laughs> Is it really? We no. Should, we should get no. together with yeah, them. I mean, Did you know that 10% of the population hates cucumbers? No. They really, no. They really yes. hate cucumbers. Really? Yes. Really? They, really? We have two employees they here. They live in fear of cucumbers. Really? Okay, so let's move on really from good. cucumbers now. <laughs> so, but it's, it's not just about diseases, because a lot of these are finding like osteoporosis or Alzheimer's or things like that. It's about the idea of what your genetics mean to you. To you. Yeah, and, yeah, and how you compare to your siblings and your family. If you if you get several family members uh -huh. into the program and you link your your right. genetics with theirs, you can right. see which which sibling are you most similar to, or I which see. grandparent. And right. 
also if you have children, you can really start to learn more about their genetics as right. well. Right. Oh, interesting. And then and then the conversation begins, essentially. Yeah, yes. exactly. So would people stay on there and just discuss it? That's your aim or to that you, you let Our them find? Our goal is that as new research comes out and mm -hmm. every time that there's a new story, mm -hmm. um, people come to 23andMe and they actually look to see what does that mean for their genotype as well as what right. do we say that that research means. Right. Do you expect people to try to find each other that maybe they're related or they have related um, genes or? Potentially. Not initially, because we won't have those features set right. up, but over right. time. Great. 